Are we going for the kill? We're going for the kill here. I have Todd. I have Todd. Todd. Boom. And that is a plus 22 Shailun. Oh, Shailun's again. Plus 22 Shadow Moon Burial Ground. Let's freaking go, dude. I don't even know what an Enlightened Renaissance is, but that was insane. Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Mystical. Today, I'm bringing with the third Shadow Moon's Burial Ground, but this time it's a plus 22. We timed a plus 22. I'll give you my talents. These are my talents right here. Again, nothing changes from dungeon to dungeon. I pretty much just play the same talents every single time. My damage breakdown, 17 KDPS overall, and most of my damage comes from Rising Sun Kick, Spinning Crane Kick, and Blackout Kick. Uh, there weren't too many big pulls, so you know Blackout Kick does get some value, but it's a lot of single target damage. So that's my damage breakdown. And my healing breakdown does come down to a lot of Ancient Teachings healing. Vivify did a lot of on the boss fights because it's tyrannical, and then Vote Miss gets a lot of value so that is pretty much it if you have any questions at all please let me know i am more than happy to answer any question i have and that's it for me hope everyone has a fantastic rest of your day hope you enjoyed the video i'll see you later this is the highest level keystone i think i've ever tried to do so you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes this is a plus 22 shadow moon barrier ground now i'm gonna do my best i think it's tyrannical raging storming thundering this week so yeah, they're gonna. The mobs aren't too bad until obviously they get below a certain amount of health, which is fine. Um, I think I should probably save touch. Uh, not touch. Well, obviously save touch death, but um, also I should save leg sweep for when we get kind of low. Um, the first boss, I'm actually, I'm not worried about it, but like the first boss normally does <laughs> a lot of damage, so we'll kind of see how the first boss uh, kind of treats us. If you're seeing this now, I timed it, which is insane. Look at us go. But I'm, yeah, again, this is like the third Shadow Moon burial, burial Ground I've uploaded. So, yeah, again, I'll just go through all the mechanics. I'll go through as much as I can. I am fist weaving. Um, if I, you know, if I've uploaded it, obviously you've seen my talent. So, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm more than happy to answer any questions you might have. Um, but yeah, fist weaving again. Love fist weaving. Uh, do it in PvP, PVE. Uh, I level and quest fist weaving. So. You know, of course. I also got new boots. I got the uh got I bought the um the pattern that makes it so your well fed buffs persist through death because uh I was not lucky enough to get it to drop. So, you know. Sargeras it wasn't too bad. It was only sixty K gold, you know. Little investment for Mythic Plus. And uh yeah, we're we're rocking haste verse as well for his stats, so yeah, his first I think is pretty good. You you can go with crit to mastery even as the bad either, because you are getting some you you are using development sometimes with your chi g but i think for the most part i would just go haste verse i think it's safe i did kind of stack versatility uh for this week because i feel like tyrannical on high keys you can you take a lot of damage there were some times where i was only at like eight percent verse and like normal mechanics on tyrannical were just killing me on like an 18. so i don't know i don't know what's going on but i stacked a lot of verse i, I don't know how much verse i have right now i have 26 percent verse so Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully we live a mechanic. Um, but so far, so good. I don't know how tough this timer is. I've done this on the twenty, so you know, and I, you know, it's pretty. I think we two chests it too. So I know the timer isn't too tight, but I don't know which one. Like, if it's more difficult on tyrannical or for it, I have no idea. But yeah, again, of course, any questions, let me know. I'm doing this in real time, so you know, sometimes I'm I'm not gonna talk. You know, my bad. I'm just focused up. I don't want my this is my guild group. So I don't I don't want to embarrass myself. Okay. I'm not trying to embarrass myself in front of guildies. I want them to keep asking me to heal them. <laughs> like, please. Todd. Let's keep doing damage here. Good. 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 Um also if anyone knows how much damage, like how much DPS I'm supposed to do at the end of a dungeon, let me know. I've been averaging like 18k DPS, but I don't actually know like what's a good average to to have at the end of a dungeon i know emma who's like a who's been watching me forever which is awesome the she pvs and i think i think 29k was like what she said it's, i i don't know maybe maybe i got a lot to learn i might have a lot to learn here i'm gonna try to drink uh before we pull just because i, I don't know how tight this man is we have really good dps i'm re i'm used to pugging so like i'm used to bad not bad dps but i'm used to like you know they're not optimal but i know my boys in my guild like they're mythic geared you know like these people are cracked so 
I'm hoping that their DPS makes this boss fight a little bit easier. Obviously, avoid the purple circles on the ground. Whispers of Darkness is going to hurt. Great AMZ here. I'm also going to Shade Loon's Gift. A lot of healing here with um, Chiji or Yulon. Chiji, my God. Stroked out there for a second. Dark Community, we want to hit the ad. Um, I do have over 30, 50% mana, so I'm going to use my on use trinket. And we're just going to crank damage here. I could also Todd probably the next one. Yeah. And then I think I need to rotate cooldowns for the eclipse phase. Like, I think this is like a. I think this is a diffuse magic situation here. Yeah. All right. It's going to do 60% damage, which. Okay. That's that's healable. I'll save Shailun's gift maybe for it. Heal elixir as well here. I could also revival. We should be okay. Yep. Okay. Bayline stomp. All right. We're chilling right now, actually. Like. Now that I know we don't get too low from the Eclipse, I think we should be okay. Dark Communion. I think I would like to do some damage here to get Envelopments going. I have Fort Brew for next one. I can't exactly get to his ass, though. I said Chi Wave on him, but that's the best I could do. Rising Sun Kick to get Envelopments. I just need one more. Uh, and, yeah, I'm just going to do my best. You know, I'm not, you know, I'm not like some insane PVEer, but we'll, we'll do our best. We'll do our best here. Healing Elixirs as well. So, yeah, that's all we can do. Hopefully we time. <laughs> Dark Eclipse. I'm here. I'm going to Fort Brew this, and then I'm going to Shailene's Gift right here towards the end. Boom. Big healing. How many t How many targets? I thought Shailene's Gift healed. Maybe it doesn't heal three people. I don't know. Maybe it did heal three people. I don't know. That's weird. Hmm. My bad. I thought I would heal more. Wrap this so we can't go any further, but I also need to hit this thing, so... Uh, I can't really get to it because the thundering. So we do have. Oh, please let me just keep my charge here. Big healing, cocoon myself. Big healing, safe, good. I got the healing bonus and damage buff, so we should be able to just crank here. Big healing. I have Chiji back. We bubbled there. It's fine. I'll defuse magic this, and then I'll Shailene's gift. Yep, good. Okay, perfect. Baylane stomp. Chiji here. It's just crank damage. 31% ain't bad. AMZ is perfect. Envelope missed on myself. Good. Good. I don't know if I have revival for the next one coming up, though. I should have a Shailun's gift. I don't know how many stacks it's going to be, though. I really don't. I can Todd this one as well. A little Todd here. A little, little Todd there. Perfect. 24%. Um, yeah, we're going to take some damage here. We're going to take some heat here. Dark Eclipse, okay. Um, I think I have Shailene's Gift here, yeah? Yeah? I get stunned, but that's okay. Failing Stomp as well. Big damage. Cleared it. Kind of need to live this. If we live this, I think we kill. Okay. Belt Mist here, or Renewing Mist here. Expel Harm as well. Um, I do have Chi-Gi coming in hot. I think I'll just Chi-Gi and kind of just crank this. Yeah, seems good. Nice. Throwing Vault Miss on the Priest. I don't see Disperse by him. Manatee, Essence Font as well to get the mana reduction. Um, and we got 4% here. I can't actually get to him right now. I'll just, you know, I can revival this, yeah? We'll revival this new damage. <sighs> Well done. Well done, team. That was really good. So that was like, I really, that boss does a lot of damage. I mean, I was doing 51k DPS or healing. Uh, Vivify is somehow my top heal. Shailun's Gift actually cranked. 218k crit was good. All right. We're good. We're good. Let's keep, let's march onward. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, that's, I feel like that boss and like the last boss are probably the toughest bosses in here. I'm going to throw an envelope miss on my tank. Hello. Alrighty then, I don't know what that's about. Uh, I was also told in my last Shadowing Burial Ground to not kick the Domination. Thank you. Uh, don't kick the Domination because they're just gonna they're just casting right now. Like it's just one extra cast you have to worry about if you kick it. So I'm just gonna vibe. All right. All right, we do kick them or maybe interrupt them. I don't know what, but that's fine because we're just gonna sweep here, Bayline stop, and we're just gonna crank. Where's my priest? Priest, hello. Perfect. Nice. Good sounds there, Todd. Virgil. Beautiful. Got a kick on that. Awesome. Good. 
Yeah, Storming isn't much of an affix. It is kind of annoying being a uh, melee healer, but uh, it's, it's just, just one more thing to honestly avoid. I don't have kick for that. I have kick for this. I fail hand stomp. Yep, uh, that's a death blast. That's a death blast. Nice, good kick. Do damage. As soon as the damage goes out, uh, good kick. Death blast. Drop it. Nice kick. Nice, good. Um, I also have Feyline Stomp coming in hot. So we're just going to spin here. I think we're just spinning. I'm going to Onus and just spin. Still using the Horn of Valor. Don't <laughs> Haven't gotten an upgrade from the Vault. So a little bit unfortunate, but we kind of we kind of do what we do. And then we, we're using the Mana Trinket from the Raid, which, again, I don't think is ideal. <laughs> but it is what it is, you know? Uh, nothing we can do about it either. Big damage here. Cranking. No... Uh, no interrupt for for him, but we get an interrupt on it, which is good. Good. Cleared. Perfect. Probably skip this ad right here. Just kind of go over the edge. Go through. Boom. Roll through. Don't really need mana for this boss. This boss doesn't do... Uh, I don't think this boss does anything crazy. He has, he has like two or three mechanics. Nothing insane. Uh, big damage here, though. So we're just going to do... Well, honestly, we're just going to do damage. Void Blast. Just don't stand in front. Do not stand in front of the boss. It's casted. Should be able to just avoid it. Um, I'm going to throw an Envelope Mist on my tank here. Do damage. Do da I'm going to save Todd for the Soul Split too. Uh, plan or Shift. Just don't stand in... Just don't stand in the... I don't even know if it's Goo. I don't know what it is. Just don't stand in the purple. And then there's going to be like a Soul Split or Shred right here. Soul Steel. Um, I just Todd. The first one. Normally, that's not bad. I don't think. I'll Chigi here too. Just so I have like, some kind of healing when people come out. Sometimes people come out on super low health. Vampiric and Priest, my Shadow Priest. Really good. Throwing Vote Mist on the tank. Um, so normally I just kind of stack up my healing beforehand. But, you know, it's up to you. Depends on the defensives your team has and everything. I do have a 10 stack of Shailun's Gift that I would like to use. I would like to use this 10 stack of Shailun's Gift sometime this fight. Um, Renewing Mist. Renewing Mist. Big damage, big damage. Avoid the purple circles on the ground. I have I have my little mana trinket that does damage. So I mean, it, you know, damage does pretty good. Got the boss down to fifty percent. Feyline stomp. We're just gonna crank damage here. Void blast. I'm actually gonna send this on the tank because uh, it seems like he kind of kind of takes it a little bit. We did get what do we get? We got bonus healing, so that's kind of good. I, I don't. This boss doesn't really have too much when it comes to like much. You have to heal, which is why you see my mana. I don't think my mana's gone down <laughs> like in this boss fight. Um, so that's cool. Um, but I will probably, the soul shred should be coming up right now. Soul steel. So we're just going to crank damage here. Yeah, perfect. And we're going to take that. Use our little chi here. Get some damage coming out just so for people that are kind of low on health. Good. All right. Yeah. Also, for some reason... So I have mouse over macros for everything except for enveloping mist. I don't know if there's a genius out there, but for some reason, my mouse over macros work for everything except for my enveloping mist. And I don't know why. Could not tell you. Don't know why. It just doesn't want to work. For some reason, I have it on its own and it still tries to cast soothing mist. I don't know why. I, I no idea. So I don't have a mouse over enveloping mist. That's weird. I don't know. I've been trying to figure it out since, uh, Shoutlands, actually. It's really annoying. Void Blast. I'm staying in front. Down. No. Cocoon. Don't want to wipe at 5%. I will. Nice, good sounds there. All right, good. Let's just kill. Todd. Kill. We release here, so we should be fine. We shouldn't lose much time. Oh, oh okay, okay. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not trying to die either. All right. All right. We're kind of crushing right now. 13 minutes in. We're doing pretty good. I'll just cheat you here because we have time before the next boss fight. So I'll just sweep this. Big healing. Kick that. Big damage. Feyline stop as well. Wrap everything. Big damage. Rising sun kick. Usually on big pulls, my rotation is spinning crane kick. Kick whenever I can. And then Rising Sun Kick in between. I got to throw Envelopment on the tank, though. Instant Vivify here. I get a second Instant Vivify. 
Don't know what just killed him, actually. I feel like we were kind of doing well. That's all right, though. We released right here, so that's okay. Maybe it was my fault. I don't know. You, the only issue with that rotation is that you don't get value out of your um, teachings of the monastery mana. So you don't, you, because you're not blackout kicking, you don't get mana back. So you actually run out of mana really quickly, um, which is really uh, unfortunate. But besides that, it's it's pretty much fine. Kick this. Oh, demon hunter takes it. See, like I'm getting mana now because I'm blackout kicking a lot. So I I've already gone up like 15 percent mana. Damage, big damage, big damage. Todd, why not? Uh, spiders aren't too too scary on like non-fort weeks, but you still want to kick it. Uh, normally, I'll kick like the off target. Uh, there's only one. I'll kick this. There's only one spider here. I'll, I'll GG as well. So like it's not that big a deal. But on the next pull, when there's two spiders, I'll normally just try to kick the off target that we aren't hitting. Because I feel like most DPS are focusing you know, their main target on the main spider. Nice, 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 nice. Good, good, good. Sweep these. Perfect. Awesome. Look at that. Look at that. This next boss, listen, listen. I, I have mostly a hate, hate relationship with this next boss, okay? I really don't like it. I, I know the mechanics, okay? I know the mechanics. I know what to do on the boss fight. That's not it. It's the fact that I just hate the fight. All right. I don't know what just happened here. I don't know what just happened right now. But we're dying, so yeah, I don't I don't know what just happened, but now there's three of us. So all right, GG here, necrotic burst. I'll kick one. Okay. All right, I don't know what just happened. I'm gonna focus my kicks on this guy though. Kick him. All right, good. All right, we're back. We're back. Oof, like we never left. You know what I mean? Spinning crane kick. We're just going to spin a win. Somehow the skull, <laughs> the star is dying faster than the skull, which is fine. But yeah. Huh. Interesting. I don't know how we just wiped on that last pull. All right. Could have been my fault. I don't know. I feel like they just got two stacks of the necrotic burst and I couldn't recover. I don't know. My bad. My bad then. Bayline stomp here. I guess the only the only rough pull besides the boss fight is probably gonna be the double void things, but we should kill them fast enough. And I have Todd. I know they have a lot of health, but we should still be okay. All right, we haven't pulled the bats yet, which I'm not I'm not complaining about. But the bats are probably coming in hot now. No, no, there they are. Okay, all right, there we go. On use here. Let's do a little chi as well. We should have chi before the boss. I'll sweep everything. Nice fear. I'm just going to spin here. Blackout kicks. Get my enveloping mist. Keep spinning. Rising sun kick. Get my black kick that. Blackout kicks. Nice. We get enveloping mist there. Throw it on the demon hunter because they're normally pretty squishy. Nice uh, thing there too. Rop. Get an interrupt going. Dispel that. Throw an enveloping mist on my tank. Um, It is raging right now. So... Maybe they don't do that much damage. I guess we'll see. Oh, our tank fell. Oh, nice. All right, we also cocooned him there. Poor little tank. I'm, I'm going to send a 10 stack or two. Why not? Yeah, we got big healing here. We got bonus healing too as well from it. Good thing we have a priest. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> Poor guy. In that paladin armor, you know, probably sink. Probably sinking out in that water. All right. Anyway, yeah, this next boss I'm not a fan of. All right. It's a long fight. It's a long fight. Of like nothing going on. I swear there's nothing going on. And then eventually everyone dies. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. <laughs> uh, I'm going to try to get some as much mana back from this pool as possible. Just because I, I am probably going to drink. They'll probably, probably get a chance to drink. I'm going to drink. Boss is going to spawn. We're going to pull the boss. We're going to kill it quickly. Manatee here. Throw an envelopment this time. Like, oh, I want to make sure that we put the uh, corpse breath thing on, uh, you know. Near the boss. Oh, yeah. Body slam. Avoid the purple on the ground. Yeah, good. Perfect. Perfect. GG here. Nice. We got a good little spawn on a chorus breath. Spawn, you know.
phases out so that our melee can actually do damage, including me. Inhale, standing in. Oh, wait, I forgot Chi-Gi cancels the effect. Doesn't Chi-Gi cancel the effect? I'm 99% sure there was, I don't know if it's a bug, but I swear I've, you, I, I've, you know, stood in the corpse breath and the Chi G still gets sucked. And I think it's cause Chi G makes it so you can't be slowed. I don't know what it is. I, I swear shit's bugged. I swear it's bugged. I don't know. I could be crazy though. I'm not gonna lie. It could be crazy. Probably am. Probably am. I'm gonna come over here. Do damage. Inhale. I'm standing in this thing. Big damage. On use. I'm standing with my demon hunter. Yep. Good. Clear. Todd. Boom. Good. Perfect. Okay. Good. We're standing in it. Perfect. Good. Okay. You know, not bad. Not bad. We're doing pretty good for this fight. It's just a long fight. I feel like it's just a long fight. If I'm going to be honest, like it's just a, it's just a long fight. All right. Good. Avoid. Good. Oh, we're coming over here. I'm, I'm just going to stay in with my team. Because it's, you know, they're in Discord. I'm not. So. Be healing here. Throw it on my tank. Inhale. I'm canceling. Where's my Chi-Gi? I'm canceling Chi-Gi. I, I swear. Look, I'm not going to get pulled now. I swear. I, there's a bug or something. Because before, with my Chi-Gi, I, I was getting sucked in. Minute to here. And now I'm not. So, I don't know what that's about. I don't know if it's a bug. I don't know. Maybe there's no Mistweaver. It's just that so Mistweaver's just that good. They gotta you know throw little little weird things at us. It's okay. We adapt. Balance stomp here. Try and do as much damage as I can. Course breath should nice nice good good bait. Inhale, run away. Boom. I'm standing in it. Perfect. Avoiding the thundering thing. I really don't want to. I really. Did not want to clear there because I feel like this is a really good time for my DPS to do damage, but I'm hoping somebody is like taking advantage of it. You know? Oh, kind of rolled out of there a little too fast, but it looks like he's moving anyway, so we should be fine. Uh, I have 10 stacks of Shaylin's Gift as well. Uh, let's see what we can do. Corpse Breath. We're baiting it somewhere. Yep, perfect. I'm going to send the Shaylin's Gift now, actually. I'm going for it. Should have inhale soon. I'm not pressing Chi G. There's inhale. I'm not pressing it. I'm just not gonna press it. I'm not doing it. I know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna get sucked in. Mana. I guess I should probably use the mana trinket a little bit more too. I swear. <laughs> this boss fight takes so long, man. I swear. Oh my lord. Okay. Alright, where are we looking now? We're looking somewhere. Looking. I'm following my team. 17% though is pretty good. It's pretty good. Avoid the purple on the ground. Again, this boss doesn't have too many mechanics. It's just, you know, it takes a while. Make sure you kill those ads ASAP, course breath. If you're playing with melee, you want to just bait it as close to the boss as possible. Just because, you know, uh, you want them to be able to do damage while inhale's going on. Shaylin's Gift here. Big healing. Good, 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 perfect. I, I'm not going to send the Todd. I'm going to save it for the spider's next pull. But good work, good work. Awesome, awesome. Um... We got two more pulls, and then that's pretty much it. Kicked. Oh, my God. Okay. That was a fast kick. I'm going I'm to focus on this one. Sweep everything. Nice. Nice. We did a good job here. I do have revival, so if we kind of do mess up, it's we can recover. Like, it's fine. I'm going to kick this spider, though. This, this is my spider right here. Kick it. Good. Uh, next pull is, like, the only hard pull in this dungeon. And even then, it's not that hard. It's just the uh, Todd. This the raging is gonna be pretty difficult. So let's let's hopefully you know we got cooldowns. I kicked that. We got cooldowns. I got I'll get some mana before we pull. Boom! I get a little mana. All right, good. All right, we got a skull on one. We got a skull on one, which is good. We have thundering coming in hot too. Um, so let's let's just crank. Let's just do it. All right, get uh this going out. Chigi here. Rising Sun Kick, throwing Envelope Mist on my Shadow Prius. That's just revival and just own. Like straight up. Just do damage. Avoid. Oh, nice. I love that I got an Envelope Mist there. And we also cleared there, which is good. We should be okay. I'll cocoon. I'll cocoon the Void Pulse. Void, uh, uh, void Pulse. I saw it coming. I saw it coming. I don't, I, you know. 
Void eruptions. Hopefully we kill before... I can't get to him. I can't get to him. Hopefully we kill him before the Void Pulse goes out. Diffuse magic here. Also Fort Brew. Nice. Okay. A lot of cooldowns there, but I, we, I think we did it. I think we did it. I think I could have done a little bit more damage, but overall, pretty solid. Void eruptions. Hopefully we get a kill here. Again, with the... Raging, it's like really annoying. I have no cooldowns, by the way, for this next one. So, Salt Mist here. Crank. Void Pulse. This is going to hurt. Oh, we're fine. Yeah, we're good. Good work. Good work. Good work. All right. And now all we have is the final boss. All right. Now all we have is the final. Now, this, listen, if you thought the Worm boss took a long time, this guy's got 42 million health. Lord, don't know why. I swear he's got like... 20% too much health, I, I swear, but yeah, the mechanics aren't too bad. They're pretty straightforward. I'm going to throw in on my Shadow Priest right now. Um, Levelance, again, it, it's a frontal. Just avoid it. Just do your best to avoid that damage. Uh, I do need to clear with the Demon Hunter. Ritual of Bones, you need to kill one of these bones. Otherwise, you're going to get hit by the Purple Cloud, and the Purple Cloud does a lot of damage. Actually, it's not just a lot of damage. You will die. So, Malevolence, he does this annoying frontal sometimes, and during the world uh, ritual bone so like you have to avoid it i tend to just stand right in the middle oh let me see does that okay and then also the it's kind of weird you can sometimes go behind that purple smoke and still get hit by it so just keep that in mind um but we do have a 10 stack of shaylin's gift here i do have uh chi going so we should be okay i would hope so um, I'll probably send it soon. I also have my on use here. On use, big damage, big healing. I'll send this 10 sacker. Boom. What do we get? We got crit. Oh, yes. I love getting, getting crit. Avoid the malevolence. We also have hero in two. Oh, oh I got to clear my death knight. Oh, oh Lord. Got to avoid. Uh, malevolence, by the way, is like number one priority. Just clear. Just. I'm going to Todd this, is just avoid it at, at all costs. You know, it doesn't matter what's going on in the fight. Just avoid. Avoid. Chi wave here. Oh, my Lord. Okay. Uh, we Chi G here. We'll Chi G our Feyline Stomp too. I don't know how I didn't get a stack there from my Chi G. Thunder Focus Team Velt Mist here. Nice Vampiric Embrace from my Shadow Priest as well. Avoid Malevolence. Big damage here. I'm going to start getting mana back from my Trinket because I'm under 50% mana. Avoid Malevolence. Tigers lost myself. Nice. Good. Do damage. Spinning Crane Kick. Good. Run straight through. Malevolence is the other way, so we're chilling. I have a nine stack of Shaylin's gift as well. I think I just send it right now. Yeah, let's do that. We got crit again. Oh, I love getting crit. Cleared. Good. Boss is only at 50%. <laughs> Dear Lord, I hate this boss so much. Almost more than the worm. Almost. Almost. Not not quite there. Belt missed on my Shadow Priest here. Oh, I got a little 60k crit there. I got throwing belt mist on my pre on my pally as well. Alright. I guess this is when the uh the Anya's trinket's gonna be pretty good for mana. I do have Todd. I'll probably just press it. Got it. Nice. Look at look at Miss Weavers being useful. Roll through. We're chilling. Um you can. Pr I thought my demon hunter got hit because I didn't know where that damage just came from, but you, he didn't. You'll, you, you'll know. Manatee essence font here, and just kind of crank damage again as well. I'm gonna throw a cocoon on my shadow priest. I don't want him to like play defensive or scared. I just want to do damage. The revival out too. I have an eight stack shaylin's gift as well. Cleared instantly. Nice. I think that was lay on hands for my tank. I'll go. I'll do my uh, shaylin's gift here. Nine stacks. We got crit. And I love it. We also got Bubble there. Uh, I have Chi G as well. Avoid the Malevolence. Okay. Feline Stomp. Big damage. Big damage. Big damage. Good. Chi G here on use. Belt missed on my tank because I feel like my tank's taking a lot of damage right now. Big damage. 
Belt Mist here, throw it on my Shadow Priest because he's taking a lot of damage from that debuff. Malevolence. Oh, please tell me that doesn't hit me. Oh, my lord. I, a parkour. Parkour. All right. Big damage. Bayline Stomp. Big damage. Avoid Malevolence. Throw an Velt Mist on the tank. Building up damage. I have five stack Shaylin's Gift. Heal Elixir to heal myself. Unused Trinket here to get mana back. Malevolence Avoid. I have Touch of Death for the next uh, uh, Ritual of Bones. I'm going to Diffuse Magic here so I don't take damage. Or don't take as much damage. I also have Shaylin's Gift. I'm just going to go for a seven stacker. Are we going for the kill? We're going for the kill here. I have Todd. I have Todd. Todd. Boom. And that is a plus 22 Shaylu oh, Shaylin's Gift. Plus 22 Shadow Moon Burial Ground. Let's freaking go, dude. I don't even know what Enlightened Renaissance is, but that was insane.